may know her as Eleven from Stranger Things, but how many of you know the actress behind the character? The British superstar gives such a knockout performance that it made jaws drop around Hollywood. But as it turns out, there's so much more to Millie than her role on the popular Netflix show. From being friends with the big-time rapper Drake, to deleting Twitter and opening up about her first kiss, the girl is way cool for her young age. Bad news when you see that Make sure you watch this video until the end to see why Millie Bobby Brown is even cooler than her telekinetic counterpart, Eleven. Now, let's get into things you didn't know about Millie Bobby Brown. The only thing more powerful than Eleven's telekinetic abilities are words. They can be used to lift people up, or they can be used to tear people down. But Millie Bobby Brown is all about love. She's a strong supporter of the LGBTQ community. But somehow, she ended up being the target of a bunch of hateful comments and memes that claim she was anti-LGBT. The posts were often accompanied with the hashtag take down Millie Bobby Brown. So Millie decided she had enough and deleted her Twitter account. She kept a second Twitter account at Millie Stop Hate and spoke out against online bullying during her acceptance speech at the 2018 Movie and TV Awards. This is clearly one tough cookie no one can take a bite out of. If you've watched the season two finale of Stranger Things, then you know Eleven closed the gate to the upside down. But the threat is far from over. Stranger Things returns to Netflix in 2019 and is set to include eight thrilling episodes. But it's going to take a lot of detective work to figure out what the season's main theme will be about. All we know for sure is that season three takes place in the summer of 1985, and our favorite group of ragtag preteens will be battling a creature from the upside down at the mall. But will the show end in season three? Well, not according to Millie. On an episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, she hinted that the series will have a fourth season. Millie can thank her amazing family for believing in her every step of the way. They made plenty of sacrifices, like yo-yoing back and forth between the US and the UK for years. They truly thought their talented daughter would make it in showbiz. If that weren't stressful enough, they had no money at all. But despite all their efforts, Millie wasn't landing any roles. Then she met a casting agent who sort of burst her bubble even more. He went on to tell her that she was too mature and grown up for her age. But a short time later, Millie landed her life-changing role as Eleven on Stranger Things. And now her paychecks are, well, pretty impressive. Millie's done a couple of guest starring roles in some popular TV shows like Grey's Anatomy and Modern Family. Her biggest recurring role was as Madison for the show Intruders, but her career didn't really take off until she starred on Stranger Things. Now she's grossing $350,000 per episode, but what's even more impressive is that she's earning the same as her adult co-stars Winona Ryder and David Harbour. To top that off, Millie also gets additional income that many actors collect as producers. But even if the Netflix series were to end today, Millie isn't done with Hollywood just yet. In fact, she hasn't even begun. Millie's career has already hit all the high marks, and we can't help but admire the team. She seems to be unstoppable. Over the past few seasons, she's tackled some fiendishly terrifying creatures on Stranger Things, but now Millie is going to tackle something even bigger, the silver screen. Given her experience with huge monsters, she'll have no problems facing some iconic Japanese creatures in 2019's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Millie will play Madison Russell, but it's not yet clear what her role in the movie is all about. The film will also include monsters like Mothra and Rodan. And we can't wait to see how she manages to get through this without her telekinetic powers. Oh, and if you thought Millie would be taking a break anytime soon, think again. She'll also be reprising her role in the 2020 sequel Godzilla vs. Kong. When an adult becomes friends with an underage teen, it makes people worry. That's for sure. But it becomes headline news when the friendship involves two celebs like the rapper Drake and Millie Bobby Brown. Some people found it a bit strange that a 32-year-old man would want to be friends with a 14-year-old. So the those people went on social media and criticized Millie's friendship with the Canadian musician. But Millie put a stop to the backlash immediately and asked everyone to back off. She even called the media out for making a lovely friendship headline news. She defended her friendship with Drake and told the world, you don't get to choose that for me. It's obvious that Millie has a great support system. So if something inappropriate was happening, her family, friends, and management team would have intervened by now, right? Millie is getting tons of attention, perhaps more than anyone would be able to handle, but she doesn't let it get to her head. Head. She completely understands how the game works. Being famous involves doing interviews, getting followed by the paparazzi, and signing autographs for her fans. And she doesn't mind it one bit. In fact, it's her favorite thing in the world. She certainly prefers this life over sitting at home and doing schoolwork. Not that she doesn't do school stuff. It's all part of being a teen. 
but at least she can balance school with doing something she loves. And between filming Stranger Things and Godzilla, she likes to stay grounded by living in Atlanta, Georgia with her family. Fortunately, she has promotional obligations that keep her pretty active. And when she needs a break, she chills at home where nobody knows her name. Shaving her head was part of the deal when she took on the role of Eleven, and she was 100% on board with that. Millie really doesn't care what she looks like. In fact, she wants people to like her for who she is. That's a pretty mature perspective for someone so young. Perhaps some of the contestants on America's Next Top Model should take notes. The second Tyra Banks changes their hair color or cuts their hair off, often they go nuts. So while long flowing hair might be a necessity to some, it certainly doesn't mean a thing to Millie. She would much rather people recognize her for being a nice person rather than just pretty on the outside. There's no denying it, Millie's the whole package. She's assertive, supportive, and as talented as they come. But acting isn't her only skill. She's also a pretty amazing rapper. Who would have thought? In 2016, she appeared on The Tonight Show and rapped the heck out of Nicki Minaj's verse in Monster. First things first, I'll eat your brain. And then we'll start rocking go teeth and things. But it wasn't a one-time gig for the talented actress. After season two dropped, Millie rapped a Stranger Things recap, which undoubtedly made us fall in love with her even more. But that's not all. She recently went on stage and rapped Cardi B's verse in the song Girls Like You at a Maroon 5 concert. Our minds were blown as the teen showed up with a pair of shades, a denim jacket, and moved around the stage like she owned the place. It was pretty surprising. So if she ever decides to quit Hollywood, she'll have a backup career in music, that's for sure. When Millie split up with Jacob Sartorius, she did it with so much class, it left everyone in shock. These two clearly had the benefit of a great upbringing, which taught them how to deal with heartbreak and relationships. Millie could have rapped a song about all the things she hated about Jacob, but she didn't. She took the high road and went on social media to state, the decisions with Jacob and I was completely mutual. We are both happy and remaining friends. Jacob wrote a similar statement on social media, but both actors include heart emojis, which is pretty cute for something so sad. But we're sure we can all agree that they're young and have miles to go before they find the one. Millie's pretty much everywhere, but you might have missed her before she became a Hollywood sensation. Her first role was in the TV show Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. She played a young Alice for two episodes in 2013. She also guest starred on NCIS a few years before landing her role on Stranger Things. But her training towards her future life began in 2011. The Spanish-born British teen went to acting workshops to do something fun on Saturdays, and that's when a talent scout saw her and knew she had the extra pizzazz. And that's when Millie's parents packed their bags and headed to LA. A week later, Millie was talking to some of Hollywood's kid talent agencies, and the rest is history. Honestly, it feels like there's really nothing Millie can't do. Back when she was 12, she signed with IMG Models. The international modeling agency represents big names like Winona Ryder, Liv Tyler, and Mila Jovovich. And now they're representing the all-around fabulous Millie. But she became a triple threat when she joined forces with Paris Jackson and Lulu Tenney. This power of three starred in Calvin Klein's 2018 jeans campaign named Our Family. Hashtag my Calvins. It seems that Millie is following in the footsteps of big names like the Kardashian-Jenner sisters. But of course, this wasn't her first time working for Calvin Klein. In 2017, she was asked to model for the Calvin Klein by appointment campaign. And Millie expressed great joy and gratitude on her Instagram by saying, I am so honored to be a part of this. Growing up is never easy, but doing it with the whole world watching is a million times harder. But if you thought your first kiss was awkward, wait until we tell you what Millie's first kiss was like. Millie had never kissed a boy until she met her Stranger Things co-star Finn Wolfhard. The kiss was actually between Wolfhard's character Mike and Eleven. It was certainly a big deal for the characters and sort of a big deal for Millie too. It was technically her first kiss. She told Seventeen Magazine that Finn is one of my closest friends and I love him. I don't want to kiss a stranger, so kissing Finn was easy. Isn't that ridiculously adorable? Most child actors would act like total divas if they were doing as great as Millie, but she stayed incredibly humble. And she proved that when she won her first big award, the look on her face spoke miles. It was as if she couldn't believe she had won, but the MTV Movie and TV Awards wasn't her first award show. After all, herself and the show Stranger Things had been nominated before, but Millie was nominated all by herself and ended up winning Best Actor in a TV Show. To say that this was a huge moment for her is a total understatement. The girl was simply ecstatic. No wonder she started bawling her little eyes out when they called out her name. She's not even legally of age and she's achieved so much already, but this will be the first of many awards 
in her impressive career. In fact, she has already been nominated for her first Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a drama in 2018. Seriously, the girl's a force to be reckoned with. Millie will undoubtedly go on to have a huge career like Meryl Streep and Angelina Jolie, and we're sure she can navigate the turbulent waters of success with ease. The girl is so down to earth and adorable, it's no wonder she has many friends in showbiz like Drake and her Stranger Things co-stars. But Millie is also BFFs with dance moms Maddie Ziegler. The two of them met when Millie came to the set of So You Think You Can Dance, and they've been inseparable ever since. They connected in a way that few people can understand. Best of all, these girls totally support each other's careers. But Millie is also friends with singer-songwriter Grace Vanderwall, who claims they also have a tight bond because they're both young and in the limelight. And although they rarely see each other, they're undoubtedly texting all the time. We are kind of glad these girls have such a tight squad that supports one another. Now that's true girl power right there. Do you think Millie's impressive career is just getting started? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco. Bye for now.